NATO countries Denmark and Netherlands have started the transfer of F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine to strengthen Kiev's defenses against Russia, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Wednesday. I am pleased to announce that as we speak, the transfer of F-16 jets is underway, coming from Denmark, coming from the Netherlands. And those jets will be flying in the skies of Ukraine this summer to make sure that Ukraine can continue to effectively defend itself against the Russian aggression, Blinken said while addressing a NATO 75th anniversary summit in Washington. The US official also said that NATO is working on an incredibly robust package, which would be unveiled in the next couple of days. In a joint statement, the leaders of the US, the Netherlands and Denmark said the Danish and Dutch governments are in the process of donating US-produced F-16s to Ukraine, with the support of Washington. According to the statement, the transfer process for the F-16s is now underway, and Ukraine will be flying operational F-16s this summer. No other details about the transfer were provided. We are committed to further enhancing Ukraine's air capabilities, which will include squadrons of modern fourth-generation F-16 multi-role aircraft. The coalition intends to support their sustainment and armament, as well as further associated training for pilots to enhance operational effectiveness, the statement added. Russia has broken through Kyiv's air defense umbrella and deliberately struck Okhmat debt, build. Russia deliberately hit the Kyiv hospital Okhmat debt with an X-101 missile, while the air defense systems provided by the West were unable to prevent this attack. According to build analyst Julian Robka, the video of the attack clearly shows a Russian Kh-101 missile launched from a Tu-95 strategic bomber. The footage clearly shows that the warhead was not shot down by Ukrainian air defenses, did not deviate from its target and did not shatter into pieces but was heading straight for the hospital. Russia launched a missile strike on the toxicology building of the Ok Matdet Children's Hospital. Not a single air defense missile affected its flight path. More evidence of a deliberate Russian attack, possibly from a Tu-95 over the Caspian Sea, which fired several Kh-101 cruise missiles in the direction of Kyiv, Rubka writes. He also notes, in addition to Okmat Det, another medical center in the Niprovsky district of Kyiv was also damaged. According to him, it is possible that this was a planned attack on medical institutions and the air defense systems provided by the West were unable to prevent it. The capital's air defense is over. Next winter, Ukraine will have no electricity or heat. Our political leaders have miscalculated terribly. It wasn't just one Russian missile that penetrated the protective umbrella over the capital, consisting of Patriot, Iris T and other systems, but at least 10. Either Kyiv has no more missiles or the air defense systems themselves have become targets. In any case, it's a disaster. Rubka notes. Russia launched a large-scale missile attack on Ukraine. In particular, one of the missiles hit the children's hospital Okhmatdet in Kiev. During the attack, operations were being carried out at Okhmatdet. Russia also struck a private maternity hospital. There were also reports of the destruction of the entrance of a multi-story building as a result of the occupier's attack. According to preliminary data from security service investigators, the Russians attack Okhmatdet with an Kh-101 missile. Hezbollah hit the US facility, citizen of America was injured. As a result of the Hezbollah organization's rocket attack from Lebanon, it was reported that a U.S. citizen representing an unmanned aerial vehicle company doing business with Israel was injured. CBS News reported this with reference to U.S. officials. Hezbollah fired dozens of projectiles and anti-tank missiles toward northern Israel on Sunday, according to the Israeli military. It is said the soldier had been lightly injured and evacuated to receive treatment. According to the information, an American civilian was injured as a result of the recent increase in rocket attacks by Hezbollah. 
the U.S. State Department confirmed the information. The agency's spokesperson said that the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem is helping the injured man and his family and urged American citizens to be careful in Israel and the West Bank. The condition of an American citizen injured after the Hezbollah fired missiles toward northern Israel is worsening, according to the medical center treating him. The 31-year-old man suffered shrapnel injuries to his upper body and was admitted to the operating room from Sunday evening local time, the Galilee Medical Center said in a statement. Two other people injured by the missile fire, a soldier and a civilian, have also been hospitalized in a surgical department, the center added. Tensions have increased in recent weeks on the border between Israel and Lebanon, the so-called Blue Line. Since the 8th of October 2023, daily exchanges of fire between Lebanon's Hezbollah and Israel have highlighted the ease with which Israel's war on Gaza has expanded into other parts of the Middle East. Hezbollah, an ally of Hamas, has been putting pressure on Israel by forcing the country's military to divert resources from Gaza to counter the Lebanese group on its northern front. This has highlighted the tightening unity of the so-called axis of resistance led by the Islamic Republic of Iran.